We're going to look at the Buffalo Air Station VPN PPTP configuration for the WZR1750 DHP and the 1166 DHP. First thing you want to do is go to your admin interface and log in. The default username is admin, default password is password. And we're immediately going to go to the advanced settings. Here you want to click on internet and go to PPTP and we're going to enable PPTP server. So you can just put a check in that box and then we'll be set. Next thing you're going to do, you can leave all these settings default, is we're going to go to PPTP user list and we'll edit that user list. You can enter a username here, I'll just do buffalo test and a password. The password is 16 characters available. Uh, I might suggest using a password generator. PC Tools has a pretty good one and they also have HTTPS usability with it. Click right there, we'll set it to 16 characters, our password is going to be encrypted in the browser, we'll include punctuation and no similar characters. We'll generate it, you can just copy and paste that, mark it down somewhere, and put it in here. You can do a show password, make sure it's there, no white space at the end, and we'll click add. It's going to add it down to our PPTP user list here. You can have multiple users, you can make separate accounts for different members of your family or friends or whatever you need. And that's all we have to do in the router configuration. This is going to give you access to your home network when you're not in your house. So the next thing we need to do is set up the VPN connection on our actual machine. To do this on Windows Vista 7 or 8, you can just right click down here, click on Open Network Sharing Center, select Set Up a New Connection or Network, select the VPN portion, next. We'll use your internet connection. We'll title this connection, destination name as Buffalo VPN, you can call this whatever you want, and the internet address. The internet address is going to be the WAN or Wide Area Network address that is from your internet service provider. So this can change from time to time. You'll need to know what this number is or use a service such as Dynamic DNS or Dyn DNS. So let's go to internet address. You can find this information by going to Google and typing what is my IP or you can go to whatismyip.com, the web first website that comes up and it will give you your IP address. You're going to put that here. It's not going to be 1111. It's going to be whatever what is my IP tells you. And then we'll click create. If you're on a shared computer, uh, you may not want to store that password. We're going to go back to the network properties and click on change adapter settings. We're going to right click on the one we created and go to properties. We're going to select security and type of VPN PPTP. Then we need to select allow these protocols. This is only going to be for Windows 8 and Windows Vista and 7. This should be set up by default to use MSChat v2 and then click on networking. We can uncheck IPv6 as we're not using that. Select IPv4 and go to properties and select advanced. Here you're going to check uncheck use default gateway on the remote network. We're going to select OK, OK, and OK one more time. What we were doing with the default gateway is your router is acting as your gateway to the internet. And so when you get an IP address, when you go to what is my IP, that's telling you the IP address of your gateway. So that's going to be whatever your ISP gives you. So if you go outside, and let's just say you go to a coffee shop, and they have their own gateway with their own IP address, which is the coffee shops. So if we were to select use the remote gateway, that means when it connects to the VPN, it's going to try to use your home's internet connection for all of the internet requests. So our router right now does not have that available. So with, you need to uncheck that, otherwise you will no longer be able to go to websites. So when you're in the coffee shop, when it's unchecked, it will still use for web page requests, any internet browsing you do, the coffee shop's internet connection, and it will use any restrictions that they may have. So if they have a firewall set up that you can't get around, it is still using that for the internet. However, you are also on your home connection, so you can access your home computers, you can maybe use remote desktop, you can access your NAS if you have one, or any of those systems inside your house. So that is what this is configuring right now. Uh, in the future, we will be having an update that will update the VPN connection to allow you to make the choice if you want to use the remote gateway or not. 
So right now we need to set it this way or else you would lose your internet connection when out of the house. If you're currently in your house, you will not be able to connect to the VPN right now. You'll have to be outside your house in order to connect. That's all you have to do to set it up. If you want to use this VPN, you can left click here in Windows 7 and Vista. It will pop up showing any VPN connections you have. Windows 8 it pops the sidebar and you can select connect. It'll have you put in the username and password you used, maybe Buffalo test, and I'll put in the password. It will not connect right now if you're in your house. You'll have to be on a connection other than your local network or your home connection in order to make use of the VPN. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section.